Hi everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, today our topic of discussion would be public group uh, and queues. Now public group, uh, a public groups is nothing but it's kind of a container which uh, has individual users or it could have multiple users or it could have a group of groups that's a nested group it could have a, a group of roles put together or a group of roles and its subordinates put together now uh, the reason for using public groups uh, could be that if at all you want to go ahead and notify about something to one particular set of users uh, say suppose a marketing uh, uh, strategy has uh, been changed a bit uh, so that time you could probably pick that up on chat or mention it on the group. Uh, so that is one use case available for uh, public group. Uh, to create public group, it's quite simple. Uh, first thing you've got to do is come under ma administer, manage users, select public groups. Uh, you could select new. Uh, once you select new public group, you just need to put in a label there. In my case, I'm going to create the third public group. However, just to uh, keep you guys updated that if at all uh, you do not have any groups created in created earlier, you would not be seeing these two groups uh, once you search for public group as I am highlighting from my end. Uh, so that would not be the case since I have already created, I am able to see that. So let me go ahead and create it for support. Now this is a group that I am creating for the support folks. So I would be selecting it based on uh, roles or roles and subordinates that's totally fine uh, so i'm going to be selecting everyone in the support channel uh, so i'll pick them up from here uh, so i see the support team there there and there all right so i am going to take them add them and just go ahead and save that information Bingo. Uh, so my public group is all set for support. Uh, now, uh, as I told you, if at all you want to go ahead and uh, mention it on Chatter about something that uh, you want to uh, highlight, uh, you could still do that. Uh, you could mention training. Usually this is what comes up. You could uh, probably enter the group's name and the group uh, pops in here. You could select that group and highlight that. So that is one use case of uh, public group. However, when we come to the next uh, option available, that is the queues. Now uh, you would use queues specifically uh, to streamline your work culture. Uh, streamline your work culture as in keep it more organized and more balanced uh, you might really not want to run into issues where you might be getting 100 tickets and all the 100 tickets or 100 leads are being assigned to one particular person uh, it might increase the workload whereas you do have staffing available so in that case you might want to get that to queues or you might also encounter a use case where uh, tomorrow a user might be going for a long vacation and uh, he you might want to reassign all his leads or cases uh, to a particular another person uh, but you're still not sure who is idle and who would really want to pick up the work so at that time uh, either the uh, owner or the admin could uh, get into that case or lead uh, and uh, reassign it to the group i mean reassign it to the queue uh, now uh, queues are more specific to a uh, few objects only and it is not uh, common across all the objects 
I would show you a quick demonstration uh, on couple of objects uh, after creating queues quickly. Uh, let us wait for the system to load. All right, speaking about queues, I already have one queue created in advance. However, I'm going to quickly go ahead and create one more queue uh, for you, just for you to understand. So this is a queue that I'm creating on another object. So so this is the queue that I'm trying to create on the lead object. So I'm just going to be putting my email address for now. Uh, <coughs> which is just an optional one and uh, the reason that i'm doing here is because uh, to send out email to members uh, which is more specific uh, so now as i told you that uh, queues could be created only on few objects and not on all the objects so here are the main objects that we use we use it on case goal knowledge article vision lead macro metric order quick text scorecard uh, user provision, provisioning request, uh, coaching, etc. So since I've selected lead, I'm going to go ahead and select lead uh, as the object and I am going to go ahead and uh, select the groups. Uh, I would be selecting the marketing group just because I want them uh, to be added here. Uh, I'll quickly go ahead and click on save. So I have two queues ready one queue for case and other queue for lead so if you just have a check the supported objects are case and leads respectively so let me go ahead and show you a quick demonstration I'm going to open leads as the page here I'm going to just go ahead and select all leads so I'll pick up one lead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to presume that I would be taking a vacation, a long vacation in fact, for which this lead I would want someone else to go ahead and contact since I'm not quite sure. So I would be going ahead and selecting queue and in that I'm just going to go ahead and select lead. Now you see there's only lead available because I had selected lead as the object over there and send out a notification email as well so that people uh, would come up and they would get to know that yes someone is on vacation and there is some leads uh, that are pending in uh, the lead owner this could also be done with a data patch activity uh, from the back end uh, however this is uh, what that could be as an option manually now in terms of cases now I have a case that is ready now again the same scenario about the case owner being changed this time I would presume that I would be leaving the organization and this case has to be rerouted and uh, being assigned to someone else so I am going to select cases the queue that I've created here now you see there's only one case that comes up so I quickly go ahead and click on save the record gets updated and if there's any notification email that is available that would be sent across I uh, hope uh, this uh, session was informative for you this video although there's nothing much of a relevance in terms of interviews this is just good to know information there are some questions uh, that might uh, be shot from the interviewer related to these concepts have an understanding and have a small fair bit of idea on it thank you so much uh, glad you liked it uh, please go ahead and stay tuned for more videos thank you